All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to install the right WordPress theme. Um, so your website will get uh, another layout like my website, similar to my website. So how to do that? You go to appearance in here and then you go to themes. Just log into your backend if you haven't done that. You can go there by going to your, to your domain name slash WP dash admin and then log in with the details. Um, once you go to appearance and then to teams, themes, you click here at the top at add new. And then at the right side, you're going to type finance recruitment, finance recruitment. And there you have the team that we're going to install. So hover over this picture and click the install button. And now it's installing this WordPress theme to our website. And now we only have to activate this theme. And right now this theme is activated. When we go to our website, when we visit our website, you can see our new theme is installed. Pretty nice already. So what we're going to do now is we go to change this. If you want to keep this the way it is, if you don't have a logo or something like that, you can keep it the way it is. You can change the text. I personally like to upload my logo. So let's do that. So let's go back to our theme. Uh, and you go to appearance here again and go to customize and there you can change your theme. Here you got all the different options. You can go through them. We go to a few of them. So the first one is the front page header. As you can see, here's a, a, a man in a suit uh, with a newspaper in here. We want to change that. So we go to the bottom in here and we can change uh, this header. So we can hide this image or we can just add a new image. It's just what you like. Um, we're going to just to upload the picture. Let's go. Let me see if we got something in here. Yes. This is just a simple image. You can put any background, uh, whatever you like. You can crop your image. So let's crop this image. And now, as you can see, it's replaced by my nice black background. So um, we're not going to do the randomized headers. This is this is fine it's the way it is right now. So we click on this back button and then we go to our site identity. And if you want to get rid of these, um, you can just select this button or deselect this button, display site title and tagline, and then it will be gone. And we're going to put our logo in here. So here you can upload your logo. And I got my Tim Verdell logo. Let's put it in here. And we need to crop it the way it is, like it is right now. Uh, hold on, I'm going to keep it this, this way. All right. So now it's updating. As you can see, here's my logo now at the top. Also, my review block is overwritten. It's not in here. And right now it looks pretty nice, but I want to have it a bit more, uh, a bit more padding here at the top. So what we're going to do is we're going to the additional CSS and I will paste this. If you want to use a similar script like I do, I'm going to paste this in the members area. And let me grab the code for that. It's just a simple CSS code that you need to paste in here. So paste this in here. And then let me see, I'm going to publish it. And then my logo will be a bit lower than it is right now, probably. Let me see. Oh, maybe I need to. Yeah, it needs to be 30 pixels. You see here, you can change how low you want this logo to have. So in my case, I'm going to use the default like I did it before, maybe do 15 pixels. I like it the way it is right now. So I can publish this and go back and we We've done all that we want to do right now. We're going to make a custom menu. That's what we're going to do right now. So um, you go to the left menu here. You go to menus and there you create a menu. So we're going to call this main menu. That's always how we call it. And click on create menu. And now you can say auto add page. I will not do that because that means every time you create a new page, it will be added to your menu structure. Uh, and here you need to select this one, the top primary menu. That's where you want to sh uh, show this menu. So when I go now to my site, you will see we have a top menu. You see here, I got my homepage and here I got my sample page. 
and now it already pretty looks like my website. This is just a sample page. Um, we go to home again, and here will be all the product reviews that we're going to make. So um, in this case, I'm first going to show you some other things. Uh, I'm going to first show you how to install a review plugin. So let's go to the next video.